Well, hey, I got Ron Doman from Flaming River in the garage for me today. Ron, how you doing, man? Good, Dennis. Good to see you. Great to have you back. You know, batteries are important in cars, and you always like them to work when you want them to work. But there are times when you don't want that battery hooked That's up That's absolutely working. right. One of the most important things to do is to make sure that the car is safe. And turning off or disconnecting a battery when a car's in storage uh, is a terrific idea. Well, it is, and, and, and I'm actually guilty of it. I don't do it enough. And uh, boy, all you need is one electrical short, and you can take everything out. That's totally right. And a lot of vehicles do burn from uh, short wire systems. Yeah. In fact, that's probably the most common yeah. reason. So, you know, you, you, you typically are going to disconnect the battery. You either get out there with your wrenches and you, you know, pull mm -hmm. a negative, or you, you know, you'll put in a battery disconnect. But there are, there are simpler. And, uh, and, and, and probably safer ways to do that. Yeah, the most mechanical way to do that is, of course, to use a battery disconnect switch. Mm -hmm. This particular switch is what we call our big switch. It, it's a because it's a pretty big switch. It really is, <laughs> but it's a 250 amp continuous switch, mm -hmm. 2,500 amp surges, totally waterproof. It's got stainless steel connectors, and it's very mechanical on-off. Yeah, off. so just on-off, clunk, right. clunk. And this, uh, these are basically the same switches. One's just, you know, with a bracket and the other without? Yeah, they're both the same switch, and there's different ways of mounting a switch. Some people have to, you know, put it behind the seat or in the trunk or on a body panel or something like that. So we try to accommodate it with different uh, ways of mounting. Yeah. Okay, well, that's going to kill the battery. This one does a couple more tricks. Yeah, this is the battery alternator kill switch. And what this switch basically does is you twist it on, yeah. and again, you push it off. But what it'll do is disconnect the battery mm -hmm. and the electrical system at the same time, such as the distributor or the alternator. Oh, great. And additionally, what's great about it is, is it has a memory circuit. Oh, so you don't lose all your stations. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So you turn it on and mm -hmm. you push it off. Well, so I mean that and being waterproof and everything, uh, you can put that anywhere. Anywhere you like and, and really it's all up to the imagination of the installer, you know. But yeah. a lot of times you can just put it under a fender well. Well, it's even a, a theft prevention device, really, because, you know, a thief's going to really be trying to get the, the ignition going. That's going to keep that from... You know, a thief t typically doesn't look for a battery disconnect switch. He's yeah. more interested in the steering column getting the ignition to turn. And this is a very unrecognizable device to a thief. Yeah. And yeah. putting it in different locations in the vehicle really makes it accommodating for safety purposes. Yeah. So, I mean, you really can. You just, you know, you click that and, and she's disconnect. She's on, you, you hit it, right. it's off. It's, you know, you could, you could put it in a fender well. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the same thing here. Instead of pushing off, it's turn. turn it on and turn it off. Okay, There's, that's all mechanical and, and, yeah. it, and it does, the, does what you want to do. But you've got, you always have something really cool. And that's what <laughs> this is over here. This is your Electro Wizard. Switch? Electro Wizard, yeah. What's really terrific is, you know, these are all the manual switches that right. we talk about. The good news about manual switches is they do exactly the same job as the Electro Wizard, but the difference is you have to remember to turn these off. Oh, that, yes. <laughs> or turn them back on. With the Electro Wizard, you start the engine, you drive the car. When you get out of the car, you turn off the ignition, and the battery system shuts down automatically. And that's what, an uh, electromagnetic switch or something? It's an electromagnetic like? switch inside the system, totally waterproof. Again, it's a 250 amp service wow. switch. It also comes with an option relay. As you can see, the light's on now. Yeah, yeah. This is a three minute time delay relay. So if you've got systems that need some extra time after your shutdown, it'll keep going. And then in three minutes time, it'll shut off. And when I want to fire up, I just put the key in Put and it, I don't have to turn any switches and it comes on automatically. Right. There's an impulse switch in the vehicle located very conveniently. Turn the key on, hit the impulse switch, which reactivates the magnet switch internally and turns the battery system back on. And, of course, waterproof and you can put it anywhere. Anywhere you want. Oh, in the man. engine compartment, in the trunk, under the floor, whatever's convenient for you. So you shouldn't be leaving those batteries hooked up when a car's in storage and you can, you know, set yourself up with a fairly inexpensive theft prevention device too. Mm -hmm. Number of different options, number of different ways. And that's the key. Save the vehicle, keep it from burning, keep the thief out, and most importantly, when you get in it, it starts. Gosh, you gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if you wanna learn anything more about any of these great battery kill switch options from Fleming River, log on to myclassiccar.com. I think this is the one that's most fun though. Yeah. AutoGeek.net, we are car care.